Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die and Alpha 21. Now, this is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I am an old guy gaming, at least uh, last time I checked. All right, so uh, some things to get you guys updated on. Uh, first thing is that you probably notice that uh, the video is now back to a full screen, um, albeit wide, ultra wide screen format. I'm going to actually pause the game here for a second. So here's the deal. Um, I've, I've gotten a few comments from a few different people uh, about how the letterbox format that my videos come up uh, you know, are published in are hard to see on mobile devices. And the reason for that is because I have an ultra wide monitor. Um, I think it's like a, a 29 by one ratio or whatever that is, or no, 21 by one ratio, whatever. It's an ultra wide monitor. It's a, th it's a 3440 by 1440 monitor. And so I had OBS set up though with the standard 1440 um, set up, which means that in order to show that it has to letterbox, it put the black lines on the top and the bottom. Um, and I, I haven't really, I very rarely ever seen ultra wide YouTube videos. I mean, I, I can't think of a single gamer that I watch that uses that format. So it just didn't really occur to me, you know, that YouTube would support that. Um, uh, but after this, the last comment that I got, I, I went ahead and tweaked OBS uh, to show it in the native format. I, I just recorded a real quick clip and then uploaded it to YouTube. And lo and behold, it seems like it works fine. Um, but it, uh, for me anyways, if I look at that clip uh, on my iPhone, I have to turn the iPhone sideways, you know, into landscape mode to actually see it in full screen. If it's in portrait mode, uh, vertical mode, you know, then it still shows the letterboxes. So moving forward, um, I'll go ahead and, and start, you know, getting back to full screen videos but in this ultra wide format. And hopefully that'll make it easier for those of you who are on mobile devices uh, to be able to see the screen better. Okay. Anyway, um, so that takes care of that. Now, uh, update on where we are with the horde base. Uh, I have been working my butt off. It's day 61. Um, I've been done nothing since the last video, but dig a hole in the ground. <laughs> I've just been working like crazy on that hole. And I'm getting to the point now where, I mean, you know, we've got stone there. We've got stone here. We've got stone here. We've got concrete, um, you know, working in here. I, I set up an extra forge here uh, to do nothing but smelt down stone um, and make cement. And um, I, I've got to just a buttload of resources, like a metric ass ton of resources here. Um, I guess I have more concrete in there too. Right. Okay. So, and the other thing is, is I have literally spent, done absolutely nothing over the last several, uh, in game days and several hours in real life digging. The good news about that is that I have 17 <laughs> 17 points of xp that we got to spend and i wanted to wait and do that with you guys on camera um and we got a ton of resources but it's just it's taken such a long time um you know i a little bit longer than i was anticipating we'll put it that way uh so i'll go show you you know where we are but we're not even halfway done you guys uh, with with the dig and so what i think i'm gonna do is I, i'm just gonna cut out the perimeter all the way down to bedrock cut out the bottom layer and just collapse the whole thing because it's just taking way way too long and yeah i know if if i continued at it i would get another metric ass ton of, of xp and resources but it, you know you gotta also factor in the time that it's taking to do this and even my enjoyment i mean i'll be honest with you i'm getting a little bit bored <laughs> a little bit bored digging this hole um and so yeah if we go down uh, to here and we open up the map you can see that i'm still 35 meters above bedrock i mean i'm not even really halfway down yet um even though you know we started up higher you know uh, on the terrain and that was by design too and so so yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna cut out along the perimeter all the way around cut out the bottom layer and just collapse the rest of us uh, so that i can move on to the next part of it um it is almost it is very, very unlikely, too, by the way, that I will have this horde base built by Horde 63. I mean, that's it's just not going to happen. I, I can't see 
I mean, I, I don't like to, I, you know, I never say never kind of thing, but it's very unlikely, you know, that that's going to happen. And so, um, we're going to have to do the same thing that we did last time where we're going to have to find a tier five POI and, um, you know, just secure it and then see if we can survive the night as we continue to do the tier five. And, you know, it's basically the same exact thing we did in the hospital, uh, but we won't do it again in the hospital. We'll do it in a different, a different POI. But, um, so what we're going to do in this episode though, is because I'm, I'm almost a 90% sure I can't get this ready for Horde 63, even if I did nothing else, but continue to work on it. I think we're gonna take a break from this and I need to take a break from it too, uh, for my own sanity. And we're going to do an, a new tier five. Um, so I believe we have the Karen Higashi. Yeah. Karen Higashi residence. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we're going to do in this episode. And because it's a tier five, it's probably going to be a two parter because they just take so long to get through. Um, you know, my MO now is cause I did a poll with you guys. Um, I don't know, several weeks ago now about, you know, splitting up videos. And basically most of you did not want me to split them up, but I said, I, and I said, I wouldn't do that unless the video was significantly beyond an hour and these tier five, you know, the, the recorded footage on these tier fives is over two hours. And then I still edited down and it's still very long. So that's why I've been splitting them up. Um, okay. So let's see. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll spend our points and then we'll go ahead and go do Karen Higashi. Uh, what do I have? Let me make sure I have everything. I've got a decent supply of ammo here. We don't need to take concrete with us. Oh, uh, shit. There's not even any room left in there. Okay, we'll just put it back in here. Uh, so I got the ammo with us. We got some uh, sham chowder. We're going to put that meat in there. These two things actually have to go back in the other room. So we got a, a, We don't have a whole lot of grenades. Hmm. Uh, oh, and we don't have anything to drink. So let's grab these red teas. And maybe what I'll do is I'll grab these gumbos too. And, you know, because that'll pass as both water and uh, food for us. Now, uh, let's just throw back our golden rod to top off our current hydration. We're doing actually really well uh, with food. We don't have anything else going on in there right at the moment. We'll put this leather in here and the bones go in here and uh, I also made some extra glue since we have uh, plenty of water now uh, I was going to put in four dew collectors but actually I seem to be doing fine with three so we'll just keep it at three unless I get to a point where I'm actually running out of water uh, which probably won't happen it just depends on how much I use it for crafting uh, okay so we got our night vision goggles this time too so that's good um, did I make some more bolts I did okay so we almost have a full stack of bolts there Let's top these guys off one last time before we set out. Uh, because I'm pretty much just exclusively making forged steel with these two forges. Uh, we've got a little over a full stack of iron ingots. Uh, you have 93 minutes of burn time. Yeah, okay, you guys have plenty. We just top that off. So we'll let that run there. So yeah, we're, oh, sounds like we have a, a screamer. They're, they pretty much show up like clockwork, of course, because this place is heated up like crazy. So they're just a normal part of my life now, screamers are. Got to deal with them. It's the way the game works. I did hear a screamer out here, didn't I? They attack me all the time when I'm digging, too. Oh, yep. There's a screamer out there. That needs to get fixed, too, so I'll deal with that later. Turn our light off here. He seems to be just right over this ridge. I hear her footsteps. Let's get in the shade here. 
All right, she's close enough to where... Let's just use this instead. Got her. Okay, I think we're clear. Sometimes you don't actually hear them scream, and they scream. And then other times they scream, and nobody comes. So you never really know for sure until you wait, you know, uh, several seconds after you kill, kill her to see if you're actually going to get a horde coming in. All right, what was I doing? Uh, I think we were... I think we're ready to go, right? Oh, you know something I don't have? Are... Fort Bites. I wonder... I wonder if I... I thought I had some Fort Bites. I wonder if I left them back at the original base. I don't know. Well, we'll have to look for some of those in a vending machine then. They're always handy to have in a pinch, that's for sure. I think we're ready to go. So I will meet you guys over at the Karen Higashi residence. Dr. Karen Higashi residence. Okay, let's go into the uh, Rex, Rex here for a minute. I just want to see if he's got any uh, four bites. He does not. All right. So, for all intents and purposes, I am not familiar with this POI. I, I watched GNS do it. But it was a situation where I had the video on in the background and I was doing other things and I didn't really pay that close attention to it. So I know uh, I know that there's like a big underground laboratory, I guess, in the place, but I, I I'm pretty much just don't know this POI. Uh, so it's going to be a new experience for us. And it looks like that's how we start. Let's just take a quick run around the building to see if there's anything we can prelude. That's a cool looking pool, man. I love it. Uh, oh, yikes. Uh, we, we can check for, um, you know, mailboxes and stuff, too. He's over on that side. Oh, it's Harley Quinn. <laughs> well, what the hell is that noise? Man, she's tough. Are you freaking kidding me? I've got maxed out Deadeye. <laughs> it took that many shots to kill her? Holy cow. Uh, I don't want those, but we'll take this stuff. Wow. Um, yeah, we got to do our points. That's right. I was going to do that actually before we left, but I spaced it off. So let's check the mailbox. I'm not even going to grab that stuff. Well, you know what? Maybe I will in case we run across another pallet of... Of paper. All right, let's go around this way. I bet the property. All right, that well, looks like that's pretty much it. Okay, so before we get this party started, let's take a look at our points here. We have 17 points to spend, so. I believe I'm done with perception. I've got perception maxed. I got dead eye maxed, demolitions maxed, lucky and salvage, uh, and penetrator. I have thought about infiltrator, and the reason being is because when we get to the infiltrator, we can pick up landmines, which means I could go to one of the forts and just grab a shit ton of landmines and start using them. That would be valuable. Uh, you can safely navigate the most dangerous. I mean, minefields are irrelevant because we read the book where they won't blow up. Loose board traps and landmines trigger two seconds slower. That's useful. Uh, because we have more time to, to react if we get on a collapsing floor. Uh, we've got plenty of points. Let's do it. Mostly doing this, though, here once again so that I can pick up the landmines. That's going to be handy. Okay. Animal tracker. Never needed it in this game. I know what it does. It's kind of cool, but just never needed it. Treasure hunter. 
treasure doesn't happen often enough to be a big deal. We don't care about spears in this particular playthrough, even though they are very good in Apple 21. Um, let's finish strength out so that we can get maximum boomstick. Uh, we already got the maximum mining skills. What does this give us? 40% less of a recipe's main ingredients and cook 80% faster. What the hell? Let's do it. Okay, that gives us two points left. Um, but we're completely done with perception, completely done with strength, completely done with agility. Intellect, we were going to work on getting to nine so that we have, then we can have an effective tune with our glasses and, and we want to get maxed out grease monkey and advanced engineering and probably eventually better barter. But I think what I want to do now is I want to focus on fortitude. We need to make ourselves a little tougher. Um, and fortitude six. Well, okay. Can we do, we already have pain tolerance three and healing factor three. Why don't we actually max out living off the land? Cause I want to get a farm started and that gives us basically three times, you know, triple the harvest. Um, and you know, makes crop plots and that sort of thing cheaper. And then, then what we're going to do is we're going to keep pumping fortitude itself. We'll get this all the way up to the top because I don't want to wear fortitude glasses. And we'll max out machine gunner. And we'll be able to then start using that purple M60 that we found as you know in our arsenal. Um, this wouldn't something to consider later on. I do occasionally get cold even though I've got the clothing for it. And then, of course, we'll max out pain tolerance and healing factor. Iron gut, that's really, I mean, it's useful. We'll keep it in mind. I'm not going to rule it out. We'll keep it in mind. Okay, let's do this. This is a fetch and a clear. And we start by, go. oh, actually, here. Let's go back and check the mailbox again. We already know that. Right, we are on the roof, which means we might run into a vulture. And by the way, let's make sure... Oh, this this needs to be repaired. This is just too close to going down. And really probably this too. Everything else is in good enough shape to, we don't, to where we don't need to repair it immediately. Little rooftop garden there. That's kind of cool. We're going to get zombie doodles in this closet. Nope, not in the closet. I'll take those. Who do we got? Oh, it's just a normal jiggly. Okay. So yeah, that was a trigger. There was no no avoiding that, no matter how sneaky sneak we are. That door's locked. Nothing behind that picture. Back out on the roof. I don't see anything inside of the uh, the swimming pool there. No birds. Little parkour. Man, is there no chance at all for me to use stealth in this POA? This is kind of a nice bedroom. Nobody in there. 
Nothing there. That door's locked. Haha, uh -huh, very funny. I think that was the door we were just in before. Okay. We'll just woke somebody up. Oh, he got us. Ah, uh, screw the drops. The drops are so lame. I don't even care about them anymore. I mean, I'll get them if they're convenient, but there we go. Explosives. Hubcap landmine. Okay, so we can make a hubcap landmine, but again, Ratchet Quality 4. All we have to do is just go to. What does this require? One. That's actually not that expensive. The air filter doesn't tell us. Uh, does it tell us what the air filter requires? Oh, yeah. Well, hell, that's not that expensive either. But I mean, if we can pick them up for free, why not, right? Okay. Guess that's it for in there, and I think we're going downstairs. This is the main floor. Door's locked. I feel an ambush coming on. Got a red dot that way. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'll pick up the cloth in case we need to make bandages. Nice big living room. This is a cool house. Is that it? I think so. Right, let's loot. Hmm, that was weird. He didn't even know we were here. From the shadows for the win. More shit. Is that Karen? All right, we got the satchel. All right, let's take a peek in the living room first. that stuff. Guess that's it for in here. There's a key wiring. Trap crafting. We can now make a shotgun auto turret and a safe. Let's see if we can we can get you know what I forgot to make. Oh wait, I don't have any lockpicks on me at all. Oh no I do. Never mind. Forget it. I didn't say anything. You guys just thought I said something. Actually, what I was going to say is let's see if we can get in this without breaking 30 freaking lockpicks. I could not believe that in the hospital. It was 30 because I started with a stack of 50. I counted it after when I was editing the video. Okay, well, at least this time it let us in <laughs> the first attempt. That was unbelievable. It just astounded me. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. I'll bet you... Oh, that's nice. That's not as nice as what we have, though. I'll bet you the key in that room opens that door right there. We can get back in here. Well, it opened that door, too. Did it open the... Whoop. It did not open that door. 
Okay, our bike is right out there. So yeah, let's uh let's break through here. Oh, this gets us into the garage. Uh, okay, we probably were supposed to come in here via a different route, but since we're here, oh, let's get rid of that. I'm gonna need to drop off in the bike here in a second. Potatoes, no zombos in there. Yeah, I'm not sure what the correct path was supposed to be for us getting in here, but that's what the way we did it. Okay, so we have this downstairs, and we have... Oh, we didn't get these books here. Nice. This downstairs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down here. I, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go, so I'm just going to go this way. power traps wiring and baton parts oh geez that scared me <laughs> the first one didn't get me but that one did salvage tools We're not going that way yet. Oh, this is okay. This is the other stairs. I'll take that and that and that. Finding lots of potatoes in the good doctor's house. Uh, all right. Uh, did we check this? No, we didn't. Sure, we'll take that. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue on here. Did, wait, did we go in here? I don't think we did. This looks interesting. Oh, did that open automatically? I think it did. Scared a bejeebus out of me. Yeah, okay. This, there's the fat loots. This room's gonna be fun. Oh, shit. Dealing with three red dots. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm not entirely sure where they came from. I didn't notice. I just heard them and started running. There's an escalator in her house it's crazy yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to this game doing that so it just freaks me out when it happens okay let's get this ready 
Make sure both of our, our main weapons are loaded, because I have a feeling like some crazy shit's gonna happen here in a second. Oh boy. What are we dealing with? Copper? Is it just normal copper or feral copper? Normal. Ooh, look at that. Uh, shotgun and rifles. Hey, we can call Zulu Tango Foxtrot from here. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else significant in here. I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something in here? No, I guess not. That door's locked. That door's locked. All right, here we go. Generator rope. Ladder we go. <laughs> this isn't an ambush area. No siree. Nah, nothing's going to happen in here. See, I told you nothing was going to happen. Well, not in that corridor anyways. Okay, so this must be the other side of that. Uh, yeah, I only see three red dots. Right in the nuts for you, dude. Well, in the head, okay. And Karen Higashi herself. All right, we got to crack a book. Traps in armor. Another safe. Oh, that's right. I was going to... Um... Sure, what the hell. We'll learn that. I might want to make it some, at some point. Uh, I was going to go look back in that... Uh, armor, uh, or not, not armor, weapons, weapons th shelf thingy. I felt like I was forgetting something, that's what it was, so. We came through here, right? Where did I see that? It was somewhere back over this way. Yeah, right here. Okay. Not enough room. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And good. Okay, we are full. So I'm going to run back up, drop off, and then I'll meet you guys back down where we left off there. Okay, I think this is where we left off. So let's check this uh, safe here. Oh, is that state? Wait, what? What the hell's going on here? 
I think that safe's a dud. It's like it's not there. This is the first time I've seen that bug. Hmm. Okay. So, let's see. We came out this door. And we went in there. We cleared everything out of here, so... Doesn't look like there's anything we can do in there. So, this is new territory going this way. Sneaky. Nice, shotguns do 10% more damage. That is a good find. Seed crafting. Okay, I think that's it for in here. We already checked that, right? Okay, I oh great. One of these deals, huh? Shit. Okay, we're gonna have to drop down. This is it's moments like these where I wish I had some Ford bites, man. Um, but I don't, so let's let's do this. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. More seeds. We can now make pumpkins, and I don't have my shovel. I wouldn't have mind, minded getting that corn, but that's the way it goes. Let's see what's going on out here before we open that, because that, that could be a, more badness for us. Got a big kitchen down here. I see two red dots and one of them's awake. Both of them are awake. Uh, did the soldier, did we kill him? Yeah, we did. Wasn't quite sure. Did we check this here? We did. Nice. Make a crush. Whoops. Some water. Sneaky. He did. If I'm not mistaken, that almost looks like a city skyline. I think is that what that's supposed to be? That door's locked. Uh, all right. So before we continue that way, let's open this up and see what happens. Oh right. Okay. So this just leads back into here. Gotcha. 
picking up what you're putting down. The rope we go. Uh, yeah, okay. Here we go again. Shit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Must have immediately applied another bleed effect on me after I took the first first aid kit. Oh, thank goodness for pain tolerance and all that stuff. Um, I might actually hang on to that for a cold weather shirt. Maybe. Gonna get rid of that stuff. Um, we don't really need to eat right at the moment. And we have two minutes and 43 seconds left on that abrasion there. Okay. Yeah, I was not very situationally aware on that drop, so I was... Kind of like it's all over the place, but we survived it. Oh, pork bites, nice. And okay, yeah, that, that's good stuff. Now, did we get an acid? I don't think we did. Take those for the moment. What is this place supposed to be? Like a training, a training area? These kind of seem like, you know, a dorm or something. Very interesting. That door's locked. So that must mean they want us to go up into here. Another dorm here. Jeez Louise. Okay. I'll have one more red dot left. Whew. Dang. That would have been worthy of four bites if I would have known that's what's going to happen. Um, thank goodness we got a honey, huh? Otherwise, I would have had it gone all the way back to the bike. Okay. Rifles, and we already know that. Potato. Nice. Find more brass and loot. 
That doesn't suck. Little paper action there. Yeah, we're finding lots of potatoes here. And pumpkins, too. That's good. Yeah, we, we're definitely going to get a farm going here very quickly. That, I don't care about. That, I don't really care about. I uh, don't care about that either, actually. Not sure why I felt like I had to make room for it. Is that, that's better cold resist than what we currently have. And we're spending more time in the cold now than the desert. So I think I'm going to actually... Uh, trade those out. Okay, so let's take this and this off. All right. And that we're just going to scrap. Let's take this, if for no other reason, for the brown dye. Now what's going to happen? Shit, we're out of space. Two goth pants. Sneaky. We got a greenie. Oh, it's a greeny biker. Yeah, we're getting this gun out. That guy's a tough son of a bitch. This POI is pretty pretty good. All right, I need to go back and drop some stuff off, so I'll meet you guys back down here. All right, so I'm, like, completely lost and don't know how to get out of here because we actually dropped it down a few places. So I think what we're going to do is just continue on, and uh, I'll have to come back for stuff later. I mean, none of this stuff is, like, super important anyways. None of that stuff is, anyway. Okay, so let's go into here. And, of course, as you can hear, we got a screamy outside. come through here or is this a zombie closet I don't remember this is floor two though the doors locked that doors locked okay so let's go back up here up. Doesn't appear to be any more red dots in here. We'll check these, but we're not going to do anything with them unless they're substantial like that. So we have four red dots on the radar. Working vending machine there. I'm 
not seeing any targets of opportunity yet. But this whole damn place has been nothing but triggers anyway, so it's almost like it doesn't matter. Handy land and knife guy. Shotguns. Double barrel quality five. So we could have some Zeke's in the ceiling. We probably have somebody in there. Shit. You're still not dead? <laughs> never amazes me. Uh, never ceases to amaze me, I'm trying to say, is how tough the irradiated biker is. We have two skill points. Okay, we're, we're working on Fort, right? I think so, yeah. Uh, or do we want to... Do we want to finish out Intellect? Yeah, let's finish out Intellect. We'll come back to Fortitude. Just because I want to max out our ability to make stuff and cheapen the recipes, that sort of thing. And get into the higher level stuff. Speaking of which, how far along are we in vehicles? Oh, we've... We've already unlocked this. I didn't even realize it. Nice. That means we can make the dirt bike now, you guys. Fantastic. Um, the dirt bike has shit for storage, but it, it, it pretty much you can go anywhere with it. So it's just so useful for getting around. Plus, it's pretty fast, too. Five lockpicks. All right. I'm ditching the paper. So I guess we're going to go this way. Irritating the hell out of me. Corn seed. Um, don't really want to throw back a full gumbo stew until we need it a little more. Let's get rid of the blueberry seed. Corn seed's more important than blueberry seed. Another one of these deals, eh? Another one, another drop down the floor. Yay. Okay. If it really looks like the shit's going to hit the fan, I'm going to put these down here so we can quickly take them. I don't want to take them unless we need to, though, because they'll make us really thirsty. Here we go. Actually, here. Well, that doesn't really do us any good, does it? Okay, here we go. Okay, so nothing's going to rush us right at the moment. That's good. Okay, don't care about that stuff. We're grabbing spoiled meat because we're going to plant a garden when we get back to the base. So that's why I'm hanging on to that. This is D2, this floor. All right. Just those three? All right, well, we took a four bites. Um, it looks like we might be getting close to the end, so while the four bites is active, we should probably activate the the final batch of these bastards here. Oh, there's more. Yeah. Um, 
Um, I actually am going to take this now. And let's also take one of those just to counter the fort lights. Let's eat this. Uh, we'll take that. Get that blood bag later, maybe. Well, maybe we're not almost to the end. I still have one more fort fight, though, so, okay. That door's locked, too. Um... I'm just going to leave the pill in there for now. All right, what's going on here? Door's locked. Yep, I was going to say, I'll bet you a bunch of dudes come out there. Oh, looks like we got some um, AI soldiers helping us out out there. Do there. That was a lot of zombos. Shut up, Screamer. Okay, we have a minute. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that stuff later. Let's see if we can finish the job here. We have a minute and a half left on our four bucks. We've got to kill her first. You guys are just not coming through the door. You idiots.
Man, that's a lot of zombos. Um, 22 seconds on Fort Bites. Can you imagine how frickin' tough this is gonna be on <laughs> infested? Oh my goodness. Okay, we got you. And that's it. Okay. Whew. That was a pretty crazy ride. Yes, indeed it was. Okay, well, what I'm going to have to do, I'm sure there's a, a shortcut out of here. I'm going to have to obviously go back up to the bike and drop stuff off. That is cool looking. So let's open up, um, let's open the stuff up so we see what we have, and then I'll deal with the, the other later. So I don't... <clears throat> Do I have an eye candy in my bike? It's probably worth going out to check since we got to go back up there anyway. So let's go. Up. Yeah, I know you're thirsty. You got the tar beat out of you, didn't you, buddy? Um, There's an exit right there. Okay, good. This gets us up to the gay rush. Huh? That's useful. Having that infiltrator level three, because gives you lots of time to get away from a trap. All right, let's see what we got here. Nice little bunch of ammo and mods. Handyland and Tools Digest. Explosives and another purple machete that we could sell. Pretty generous amount of loot down here. Still thirsty, eh? Uh, okay, we'll take another tea. Guess that's it, for, except for the, the main loot. No, there's some books down here. Okay, let's see what we get in here. Shotgun turret bundle. Okay. Not the best loot in the world. Not by a long shot. Let's get rid of that. I'm just going to consume that. Um, I don't want to come back down here. I really don't. This is not a big deal. Three of these is not a big deal. That's not a big deal. Uh, these are super easy to make, and I got tons and tons of lead. Okay, we can grab one of those back again. Probably the corn mill. Okay, now I know there's still some basic loot thingies. Yeah, we definitely want the sham. Um. Oh my gosh, what is just not that important? One crossbow part, how much is that worth? 33? Yeah, let's let's just do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we can't leave this shit down here. Alright, I'm gonna make another trip. Uh but 
I'm going to cut the camera here. I'll meet you guys at the trader in the morning for the turn in before we wrap up the episode. All right, guys, let's do our turn in here. Congratulations. Here's your reward, oh, sucker. That stuff kind of sucks. Yeah, it. Uh, this is pretty lame. Pretty lame rewards for a tier 5. I'm not going to lie, that sucks. This is definitely the most valuable thing, but we don't really need money so much anymore. And we already have purple military boots. So I think I'm going to take the, the crafting skill magazines. That's probably going to be the most, the thing that's going to be worth it the most. But wrecked, you suck. Just so you know. Fact. There, take that. Okay. Uh, let's take another job from him. And I want a tier five that we've not done yet and that could potentially withstand Horde Knight. I don't like you. But Navisgain County Jail. Mind if you do something for me. Mm. I've. I haven't done this myself. I've seen um, Glock Nine do it, but I don't know. I don't know how stout it would be to withstand a Horde Knight. Let's keep that one in mind. Whatever, motherfucker. <laughs> um, what else do you got? Listen up, jackass. You Two bit work, tower. Then show some respect. Um, a tower sounds like it probably would have a better chance of holding up to Zeke's. Well, you're either brave or stupid. Nobody turns me down. We're not doing infesteds. Here. I mean, we will, but not yet. Work for oh, crack me, a book HQ. You'll do what you're told, yeah, asshole. let's do this because I know that that building can withstand the horde. Fuck this up. We can, we can secure it from the horde. Uh, plus, you know, books and all that sort of thing. All right, guys. That is it for this episode. So what we're going to do, I think, in the next episode is I'm going to go back and cut away uh, the stone along the perimeter and right before and the, and the bottom layer. And then right before it's ready to collapse, I'll probably start the next episode just to show you that because it's kind of fun. And then we're probably going to do some work around the base. I want to get uh, farming going since we now have maxed out uh, farming and all of that. And maybe do some work around the base. If the if the if the time allows us. Um but we you know, starting at no later than noon on day sixty-three, we need to get over to crack a book and get that started. Okay, so with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye bye.